star date 2209.14. I have woken up out of cryosleep to find the ship in a free fall. I don't know why the ship is in a free fall. We should be fine. Half my systems aren't working. Uh, there appears to be a few computer errors and I think I'm about to crash and die. So as my last log, I better just say um, screw you company for sending me out here in a piece of junk ship like this. <sighs> just gotta sit here and wait for my fate. Oh, wait, no, hold on. What's this button do? Ugh, dampeners. Maybe I will live after all. Ah, uh, he's hoping we're not slowing down. We're not slowing down. Emergency procedures, what was it? I can't remember what the, the, the butt first. Was it butt first? planet. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look around here. Um, okay, well, that was, uh, that was a bit sketchy and dangerous. The ship appears to be in an upright position. Um, glad, glad, I'm glad I raised my tray tables. Um, is there any way to move? No? Alright, let's have a look. Alright, so... Uh, What's going on with the systems? Uh, we appear to be missing a few things. So we got an incomplete oxygen tank. That's never good. All right, food pro good week sequencer. That seemed to be working. Yep, awesome. That's awesome. We got a survival kit. Oh, that's great. Yay, we can heal ourselves. Ugh, God. Oxygen. Um, can you turn off? D I don't think. I need that right now. In fact, hold on. Is there any leaks? Uh, is there any leaks? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess that's good then. Your number's still 911? Alrighty then. Alright, moving on. Let's see, what have we got? We got a basic survival kit. What planet are we even on? That is a very, very good question. Um, it appears to be a rock planet of some sort. All right, let's see. Uh, it's just, oh, well, oh, okay, we've got to be careful around here. Things are apparently sketchy. Well, this doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get back up, uh, but you know what? Got no real choice. Oh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Fine. Let's have a look around here. See what is exactly damaged and what is missing from the ship. It would appear that half the ship is missing from the ship. Um, that is no good. That is no good at all. Oh, what was that? Uh, uh, oh, damn it! Why is it so hot around here? What is with this planet? What was that? What the hell was that? I, what was that? Okay. Oh, I don't like this planet. I don't like this planet at all. Not one little bit. All right, so I guess what you gotta quickly do is really quickly grab up all of this stuff. Waste not, want not. Uh, ow, 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 stop with the hurdies. Oh, what the hell was that? No, I want out of this hole. That's fine. What do we got over here? Full. Inventory full anyway. All right, let's go. Oh god, it's purple lightning. Nobody likes purple lightning. Can I get back in the ship? Maybe we can get in the ship and quickly wait this storm out. Oh, I think that's probably a good idea. Oh no. Can we get back in? Can we get back in? All right, press the button. Yeah, uh, there we go. Aha. I have succeeded. You will not defeat me today, planet. Except for the fact that I feel, feel like you are defeating me. Um. Quickly, uh, hide in here. Ah. And wait until the storm passes. 
Okay, well, now that the storm is over, I can actually tell you what this series is about. This series is about me surviving on a hard planet with no suit because... I don't know. I, I'm kind of getting bored of not having any challenges in Space Engineers. So I guess now I'm going the opposite way of challenges in Space Engineers. Instead of making life easier for myself in the game, I'm making it sort of harder. Um, we've crashed on this planet. Yep, we've got land and lightning storms. I can't even remember the name of the planet. Um, it's not Smoky One. It's not Trellin. It, it's the planet I'm standing on. It's the name of the planet. Uh, Smoky. Seracos. That's it. Ha! I knew I'd remember it. Also, I've got like deep skip, deep ores and scarce ores and all that kind of other difficult life making stuff. However, I decided to give myself one advantage in that one, I have Bob, and two, the ship that's, well, what's left of the ship has uh, shields. So I thought that was kind of important. But yeah, that's it. That's all we got. So this is a new survival, very light roleplay kind of series. Um, and so today, I think our very first objective is to actually make sure what I have on board this ship. Because, I'm not going to lie, I didn't really set it up properly. <laughs> so how do I get back in here? Can I... Okay, are we going to have to do that jump thing? Because the ship is not set up right. Come on. Don't make me... Come on, don't make me do this. Ha 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 Excellent. You can't defeat me, game. I'll figure things out a way around you. Alright, so what have we got? What have we actually got on this ship? Let's do a quick inv inventory. So, we hide empty. I said we hide empty. So we got 4k ice and a small amount of uranium, which is probably all that's powering the reactors. So I kind of feel like what we really need to do is... Uh, okay, not that. We need to really get to work on um, mining things. You can just dump all that in there. So I've got a whole bunch of mods on, like I said. Um, I can't remember what else we have. we got like a bunch of AI ship mods and things. Hey, we have an ore detector that did blow up. That's pretty cool. Um, AI ship mods. Uh, corruption's on here. Uh, what other things are on here? So you got corruption. We've got um, EEM. That's not assertive. Uh, settlements and things and stuff and things to keep us entertained. And the idea for an extra little bit of difficulty was I wanted to make the resources scarce. So majority of our resources will probably come from um, stone or uh, cargo ships, crash cargo ships, looting, scavenging, that kind of stuff. Uh, I, th I thought that'd be a nice change of pace. I did try to do a full-on scavenging series before, just not that long ago. I only got about three or four episodes into it before I got bored, but that one was, um, like I had to, ooh, that's sketchy, I had to like salvage the components of the ship and it just it kind of made it so I couldn't really build the way I want to build. And quite frankly, I want to build the way I want to build. Also, I am apparently hungry. Um, that's not a good thing. How do I solve hunger? I've got grey water. So I'll take the grey water and put in the protein resequence uh, at the top there, I think. And then we make reclaimed water. Should give me a little bit of organic paste. Will that organic paste be enough? No, probably not here. You, you gave me like a zero of the amount that I need to make food. How, what, what do I need to make synthetic food? We need like 0.33 to make one food. We have none. Excellent. That's awesome. That is awesome. Do I have water in here at least? Here, can I take that? So, well, we're going to slowly starve to death. So another thing is, I want to try to avoid dying uh, as much as possible. Apparently that's not really going to be a, a thing right now. Um, is there another way to get... I know there's like a small grid version, but I don't have access to the small grid version. Where you can turn like stone into um, uh, uh, little bits and bobs. Like little, um, little food paste stuff. But I don't have enough components to build anything, let alone anything. <laughs> That's good English. Alright, so my first objective is going to be to get all this cleared up. I'm going to get a bunch of stone in there and get food 
of some sort. Problem with the food is the only real way I'm going to get the food is by waiting until I need to drink so I can get more pace. That's annoying. You know what? Inventory full. What are we doing? I, I might be able to actually cobble together something for a small grid thing. Okay, yep, there we go. This is going to get annoying for us too. Got to fix this. Excuse me. There we go. I love that ramp, by the way. It's like my favorite, 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 most favorite ramp in the world. Come on, heal me up. All right. So what I'm thinking is, if I can ever just get this done, we need a small grid. Don't, don't dump it all in there. Oh, you won't take that stuff. That's right. Um, I need a small grid battery. Can I ever make these things? I don't even know if I can make them. Um, we need a battery. We need a daily need survival kit. Where is it? Emergency ration pack. Alright. Cued that. And cued that. Let's have a look. Can you, did you do any of that thing I asked for? No. So we need power cells, but you can't do power cells. Yep, well, I guess we're going to have to struggle our way through this first day. Can you drink more water yet? We haven't got any water in our inventory. Of course, why would I keep the water in my inventory? It's the only thing I need to drink. Right, we're going to do this. Chances are we are going to suffer our very first death in the game. Um, oh, God, no. I, I, I can't afford any of this crap. Oh, wait, never, hopefully... Yeah, you, you all just fight over there and don't come over here because I forgot to put ammo in the... Wait, did any of the turrets even survive anyway? Apparently. Yep, two of them did, but I don't have any ammo. That's like, that's another good, that's a good, good work, Smokey. How much power do we have left on this thing, by the way? Two days, one day? Okay, not much time left at all. Um, can we just drink the water? No. Why? <laughs> Makes me sad. Okay, production. Yeah, produce. Wait, if we produce, give me that. If we take this and put that in there, and we go production, and we make normal water, it does. What am I doing? I don't have to die. <laughs> we can live. We can live. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna survive. We're gonna be awesome. That's what. Well, well, what's happening? Okay. This shit being on its side is not very useful to me. Alright, we need more. Come on, you can do it. I just need the one little bit to make my food. We just need 0.33. Come on, you can do it. Once we make one bit of food, we will, like, be in the clear. Okay, there we go. 0.33. Okay, production. Um, inventory. You move that up there. Okay. And you move that up there. And now, production. Make my food. You need gravel? God damn it. Uh, ah! Gravel, gravel, gravel. Give me that. I need you. Okay, you. Come over here. And go in there. <sighs> Production. You're making the food! We're going to live! We get to live! Food is life! Eat the food! Ah, <laughs> success! Okay. I am less worried, um... Ish. Um, by the way, antenna off. <laughs> Don't know if that's actually going to make a difference. I hope really it does. We get to survive a little bit longer. Because like I said, I haven't got many um, things in the way of ammo. In fact, I've got no ammo. So we've got to prioritize getting ammo. We've got to get everything up and running. Also, I want to... I need to try and get this uh, ship facing not at this angle. That may be a bit difficult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'll do a bit of mining. Well, that was weird. That was a weird way to start the recording. Anyway, uh, so I've got some mining done, did some stuff and things. I kind of got the ship sort of more straight, kind of not really. Um, I'll probably put a little speedy up clip of that right now.
then there you have it <laughs> and I just kind of chopped off the things and it, it's all kind of flat and I, I don't know it was weird okay it wasn't interesting enough for me to do a proper video on so you got the little fast forwardy clip with music <laughs> version but anyway we got this done now I think our priority hmm, I need, we need to set up a base somewhere but I don't know where oh, are we in the middle of a storm no low hot you just wanted to hurt me that's cool okay so our priority should be to one probably set up a decoy that just that that just reminded me of that um, decoy I don't even know if we have the things to build it we'll find out in a second production assembler iron and silicon we should have those it's gonna be a bit of an issue actually I just remembered like all those are rare um, yeah that's actually gonna be a bit pain in the butt yeah there's a storm outside uh, if I close this door will that protect me yeah. close that door you know what? we'll just we'll close this door too okay we're not we're not we're not safe what's your issue you just turned off is there an air leak there is no air leak why so pain? Why so pain? Alright, so I'm thinking once the storm passes, what we should do is we should. I don't know what the controls are doing. What did I just do? Oh, screenshots. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to do a third person view, but I've been playing so many games now, the buttons are different, and I don't think it works for this. But what we should do is we need to build a rover. Just so we can go explore and find somewhere to set up base. Um. I think there's a mountain somewhere. I wouldn't mind setting up a little mountain hideaway type thing. So once this storm passes, I think we'll start building a rover to go explore and find a new base place. Because this crash location, not the most ideal place for a base, let's be honest. So, I guess I'm going to get work to that. Get work to that, get work to doing that, get to work doing that. I don't know. Waiting begin. Alright, now that the store, yeah, the store, the storm is over, I had a thought. I think what I want to build is I want to build an old vehicle that I had. Um, well, it's not an old vehicle. Well, yeah, well, is it old? I don't know. I built it this year. <laughs> so, you tell me. Is that old? Uh, probably. It probably is old. But yeah. So, we're going to build an oldie but a goodie. So, we're going to need a projector. We are going to need... Uh, just a small battery. Okay, do that. So a small battery. That's all I want. Okay, sweet. We got a small battery. Uh, we want just a small landing gear. Why did you take over the battery slot? You pain in the butt. I wanted to keep that. All right, battery is seven. It's a small one. Just a small landing gear. Boom. Then I also want. Need that. We got the battery. We got the projector. That's fine. We also want a build system because I is lazy. Alright, so build that. Where are we going to put this? I don't actually know. <laughs> it's actually a bit of a problem. I need to put this somewhere where it'll fit nicely. You're going away. I need you out of the way. All your stuff are belong to me now. Okay, let's go number six, number six, number six, number six. Alright, let's go like that, boom, slap, put you down, world you up, everything is all good in the hood, production. Okay, that's gonna take a second. Um, do we have enough to, I could probably just grind stuff down to find all the bits and bobs that I need. Uh, but we'll wait, we'll wait, we got time. So what we need to do is we need to build a small little projector out here. Alright, so we'll go here. Good thing about doing this before Bob is built is that we don't have to wait until, well, we don't have to worry about him, rather, uh, stealing all our bits. Um, that is one rude thing about Bob, because he likes to steal all parts for all things. He's very rude like that. Alright, let's just go like this. Boom, seven, here, yeah, boom, you place down, excellent, well, you up like so, you haven't got a motor. I bet you the damn Bob stole all the motors. He does that. Bob's rude sometimes. Uh, let's do this. I just realized I got no way to actually control this thing. I'm gonna need a, I'm going to go I am going to need a control panel as well. 
God, English. English is so hard. It's almost like it's not my first language. It is my first language. It's my only language. Unfortunately, I can only speak the... I can only speak two languages. English and bad English. Haha, <laughs> funny old joke. Alright, let's move up. It's not funny. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, let's do that. I'm also going to need probably like that for stuff. Um, control panel is what I'm going to actually need on this thing. Control. Control. I've got it? Yeah? Okay. Calm down, Kane. Jeez. So rude. Alright. Excuse me. Boom. Control panel there. Like so. Now, in the future, I do actually plan on um, having a second camera angle in the thing. I just haven't set it up today. I wasn't really planning on doing anything today. But, um, yeah, in the future, I do definitely do plan that. Let's go with number two. Number two would be the latest version because that's the way that works. All right. Um, come up. Go forward. Go like that. You can't actually get that far away, I just realized, because I gotta actually connect you to the grid, uh, to the projector. Let's leave you like that for now. Yeah. Oh, look, there are ships up there. Cargo parts. I can't get those cargo parts. We gotta keep our eye out for Rex as well. Um, Rex can become quite useful. In fact, they are very useful when it comes to. Okay, I haven't actually thought this through. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get up on you. Excuse me. Yeah, too far. I just, I'm just too good at jumping. There we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, less perfect. Uh, that was just a test one. I need to go to about here. Yeah. Go there, and then we go off the edge of that. And we come back up and we try again. Okay, we've made it this time. Boom. Boom. Perfect. That should work very well. Now, I just need to, one, check how much time do you have on this battery? Battery, six days. Okay, sweet. Um, we need to build all that up. We need Bob up and running. So hopefully that's been enough time for Bob to get ready. All right, let's go up here. Counting up this thing is a pain in the butt still. It's less janky than it was before though, so that's always a benefit. Build Bob, give me, excellent. Set you up. About five years. Can I upgrade my tools while we're here? I should have a look at that, shouldn't I? I should really look at the, look into that. I just almost there. Almost there. Okay. Well Bob world itself. Like if you get it to work and say the world itself, I don't know. Um take all that stuff. I don't need it right now. What I do need is production, assembler, tools. Can we make like that's annoying, can you get the damn toolbar off? I, I need a resource I can never remember, it's not platinum, it's probably gold or something. Long story short, I don't think I can do it. I don't have cobalt, do we? Cobalt, no, we're, great, we're stuck with basic tools. That's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so we want it to do fly mode. Um, we're gonna go world before grind, we're gonna have ignore color set to, I'm just gonna set it all to zeros. Actually. Black straight up zero. We'll go with. Oh, hold on, what's grind color? So you're gonna be 321, 100, 100, and then this will be like 321, 00. How's that sound? 321, 00. zero. Yep. Yep. Okay, yep, that seems good to me. That seems to be good. Not owned blocks. No, I'm turning that off for now. Okay, we want you to do that. That should theoretically be within range. Controlled by script. I haven't got the script turned on. So all right, we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to worry about power too in a minute. Uh, help others. What's this? Projected blocks. Yeah, do that too. Okay, sweet. Help others here. Yeah. All right, boom. Turn you on. You're on fly mode. All right. Um, maybe I should actually. Oh. Stop you for a sec. The world before grind is like a help others first. <laughs> um, when she act will also construct projected blocks here. Yeah, of course, I want you to do that. There is no help others first. Is there? Furthest first. Smallest good first. Okay. Uh, that's grinding. 
and work for gram, blah blah blah, help out the function, use color grind, grind disable. Alright, well, I just want to quickly check that that is inside the range. It is. Alright, well, let's just let Bob do its thing. It's probably going to waste all our resources on repairing things. As always. Yeah. Oh, damn. Screwed off. It's so annoying. I guess I'll come back in about 10 years when this is finished. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Patience. You know, I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. But there is an easier way to make sure that the build system just builds the stupid rover. And that is if I just go here and I find the build system and I turn uh, uh, this little thing on down here. Alright, nope, not that one, sorry. That little thing up here. And then I can just move the offset. Nope. Just like so. There we go. Now it should only build that damn thing. <laughs> Oh, that's just so much better. Alright, go ahead, do that. Go, Bob. Go, go build. Come on, Bob. You can do it. What do you need, Bob? Bob? Bob. Steel plates? Production? Okay. There. You have your steel plates. Now you have no excuse. Build things for me. Build them all. Make it build. That'll be good. That'll be excellent. It's at an angle because the thing's at an angle. There we go, look at that, we're already making much quicker progress. Instead of me having to sit over here and drill constant stone hole because, you know, you need constant resources because you're a pain in the butt. <sighs> Back to mining. Well, Bob's finally finished his job and it's time to set the rover free. Except, hold on, you know, actually before we do that, kinda wanna just make it more secured there. Because I don't want to explode half of the damn thing when I chop it off and set it free. Um, yeah, that, that would be bad. That would be really, really bad. Please don't squish me. Excellent. The rover survived. Now, this should theoretically all be set up. It's moving pretty good. It's got a little bit of a roll in it. Now, I don't think there's much to this rover. It's got an ore detector on it, which is great. Um, ore detector, 300 meter. I do have the ore detector mod on um, or plus plus, so that's pretty good. So all that's left to do for this episode is to go for whoa, go for a scout. <laughs> and I think we should start off by going. We'll go this way. Now what we're looking for is a big mountain. Why a big mountain? I don't know. I want to build on a big mountain. I've never really built on a big mountain. I built in a big mountain. Oh, this ground is not smooth. I should probably... Hey, there's iron over there. That is neither scarce nor deep. How hot, far from the surface is it? It should be scarce. I guess the scarce deep mod doesn't really work. That's fine. I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to pretend you don't exist because that's not my gameplay. My gameplay is scarce resources that are supposed to be deep. And if that's not the case, then I'm going to have to change it to stone only and scavenge. Because... Yeah. It kind of makes sense that, that actually that those um, these ores would not be uh, deep or anything because it's a modded planet. Uh, I suppose 100. No, uh, that's 25 for you. Silicons. Yeah, you're not that deep. But we got our first little bit of uh, salvage. Just here. Don't don't mind me. AI robot person. I, what I need to do is I need to find where your power source is. So if I find your power source. Oh, you're shooting at Junker Drones. Protect me! <gasps> Go! You know what? I think we might just leave those there. <laughs> it's raining things. That does that one have any bits? Do you have any bits? Um, there are lots of bits and bobs. This is not what I was meant to be doing, by the way. I was not supposed to be bits and bobbing. I'm supposed to be, um, 
you know, finding a mountain to live in. Who owned this? What were you? Who do you belong to, sir? You belong to junk. It's alright. I don't mind going to war with the junk. It's not like they're very popular or anything. Why is it's taking? Why does it look like the planet planet is moving? I don't know. Is it because this thing is slowly moving? There. Do I own this now? I don't know. I don't know if I own it. I don't own it. Um. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> I actually just kind of want the ammo, if there is any. That's all I'm interested in. Access denied. I, I literally just ground you down. There we go. Give me that. Cockpit has ammo in it. Oh, I want that ammo too. But yeah, anyway. Uh, give me. Give me. Why won't you give it to me? Is my inventory too full? Why won't you give me the things? Why are you being rude? It doesn't take up that much room. You just won't give it to me? Alright. I see how it is. Fine. I win. Anyway, uh, on to exploring for mountain. Um, which way? Do we want to go? Okay, so crash site is there. We are here. All right, let's just keep going. Let's see what's over this hill. Hopefully, we don't crash into anything. We'll come back for that stuff later. But yeah.
All right, after uh, spending some time searching around about three, uh, two and a half mountains. One mountain wasn't quite a mountain, but it was a mountain, but it was nothing mountain. After find, searching three mountains, I finally came across this mountain. You would have seen me driving around a little bit in the, um, whatever you call the thing, the, 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 the speedy up bit. Um, but yeah, this is the mountain we have chosen to live on. It's a nice mountain. It's a pretty mountain. And I have some pretty good ideas about what I want to do in the future here. But that's going to be it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And as always, have a good one. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!